making it easy for them anyway. How are you getting them to fit in? Well, they're gradually getting into it right now. Yeah. Getting into it now because for the past couple of months, we see that everything there. Yeah, because a lot of talking. And they keep saying, you're a jazz musician. We say, yeah, we're a jazz musician too. But we don't play that weird thing except it's jazz concert. And you go out of tune and all them way with the scat, scat music, you have to stay in tune at the rhythm. You have to play in the progression at the rhythm. Now tell me, how do you feel? I mean, once upon a time, um, the, the Jamaican ska music was looked upon as something not really well they used to dismiss it Byron but, but here, here we are Byron used to do that yeah Byron they used to it's deteriorating music they used to feel it's a, it's a kind, of, kind of rebel music the people that would play it was more like people who make trouble and smoke ganja you know yeah. try to cry it down but at the same time we had a dance crowd who was behind it. Byron did love him. He's a crowd of people. And the guy was Shago. Them, them get together and talk that to press you down. <laughs> but it never put you off, though. I mean, no. you, you, you still maintain. Yeah, you're still. Yeah, population yeah, still. didn't talk that way. No, but you see, it was the music that was so underrated by the Hopa class, as a figure, more or less that uh, even Byron Lee never wanted to play. They used to skin up their face, you know. Byron Lee and a lot of other really musicians. Really yeah, they used to uh, yeah, underrate yeah. the music. It never really and so much underrated by the upper class because we used to go to a place named the Beaumont Club yeah. where the middle class people go on bed and go on, and on Sundays. And when we go there, it's pure big, nice lawyers, and those type of people. Yeah, because that was uh, Tony Sparling, Michael Manley, um, PJ Patterson, when they were young, is there they come and sit in with their crowd and listen to Scatter Light. And the Beaumont Club crowd was nice people, was rebel. When we go out, when Cox keep him show at the at the um, the beach out there. It's nice people come, decent people. Yes, but can Lazarus and Byron Lee always cry down the music? Yes. Underrated music. Yeah, underrated say yeah. them yeah. not yeah. playing that, yeah. they're yeah. playing, yeah. playing, yeah. yeah. playing yeah. jump up. Yeah. Yeah. Carlos. Yeah. All Carlos, all in the underrated music. Carlos Malcolm. Yeah. yeah. Because Carlos Malcolm come and play, his band come and play with our band, and the people stone them. <laughs> yeah, stone them off of the palace stage. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah were, they, they were playing a certain type of music, like, team from the apartment and them type of, okay. you know, yeah. sophisticated mm -hmm. sound and music. Do you know want this music? Those Byron Lee, Ken Lazarus, and Siago, the whole of them is friends and, and labor rights together. Okay. So them was trying to mix our band within politics because at the time Michael Manley come around our band, P.J. Patterson okay, come yeah. around our yeah. band, even Dudley Thompson and all of them is one group of, of, of people. A few of them come around, but the majority of people was really the poor the kids. The majority of people. You sip on the kind of dancing, the music, and old first as all, and you know, Jubilee, and uh, what the other one name on North Street again? Um. All them, them type of clubs on North Street. You'd find the, the poorer kids them yeah, there dancing and women. Yeah. Them was all the people who couldn't you know, and come from out of Bridgeview, yeah, or down Lad Lane and Water Lane and places. Yeah. Yeah. You see, them couldn't yeah. stop our music because the youth them for it, so yeah, they chuck them all farm, you know, for them farm. And the same thing happening yeah. here, the youth is for our music, and the same thing happening here again. Of course, because, I mean, in the early 70s, late 70s, I mean, Tutu and the scare people picked up, I mean, Tutu and yeah. white kids of England yeah. picked up on the scare. Yeah. 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 And Another resurgence again of the scam yeah. music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the, the, those little kids are the ones who create the dance move and shuffle and everything. It was them on the corner doing yeah, that. Man. Yeah. And the girls them. It wasn't them society people. Society, society people come down and start learning it. Learn how to shuffle from them. 
That's a cool thing. Now you're going to be performing in London. Um, how you, what are your feelings on that? I mean, you've been here a couple of times. I know you're going to well, be performing. Well, I don't feel the way. I feel good because the people want to hear us again. Yeah. And hear new stuff that we play and old stuff, new and old. Thank you. 